So I'm here with Shia Gassi, who's going to talk about a solution to pollution, not just in Hong Kong, but elsewhere, but in particular, what are some reasons that Hong Kong would be good for what you're doing, and what are you doing? Uh, we're, we're, we're uh, if you want, the AT&T of, uh, of electric cars. We build the network that makes electric cars uh, cheap and convenient, um, especially for people who use them a lot of time, I mean, for, for long, long uh, miles every day. Um, key target in, in Asia for us, and in particular in Hong Kong, would be taxis. If you think of Hong Kong, probably maybe half of the kilometers driven in the, in the island is, uh, is driven by taxis. And if you could take the taxis and eliminate all pollution from taxis, you would cut a significant amount of uh, ground level pollution. In particular, if the electricity uh, doesn't come from coal, you also cut the carbon uh, footprint. So uh, we think it's a, it's a great idea for places like Hong Kong, for Singapore, for Japan. Where you know Japan has 300,000 taxis, uh, which in in the aggregate consume more gasoline than uh, than Israel as a country. And where, where are you launching first? We're going in Israel. We're going in Denmark. We're uh, we're in Australia. Uh, we're doing a uh, taxi project in Tokyo, which will be launched in uh, in April this year, together with the Japanese government. We're going to have a, uh, four taxis that will go around Tokyo for 100 days nonstop, switching and going. Um, so it's a demonstration that you can actually do long-range vehicles that, uh, that go non-stop. And, and that kind of a concept can really easily apply to Hong Kong. What is the role of China in developing electric vehicles, electric vehicle grids? Well, obviously China has uh, surpassed the rest of the world in, uh, in being the largest car country in the world. I mean, 13 and a half million cars, growth of about 50% a year. Uh, with, that, with that growth, you're looking at 20 million, 25 million cars in the next two years. Uh, it's, it's an un, it's unfathomable number uh, to a certain degree. The, um, if China goes electric, the world will go electric. The minute China says we're going to go electric and they've put the right incentives in place, the Chinese government is, is great in, in deploying mass deployment of fast deployment of infrastructure. Once the Chinese market goes electric, as they've done with, with these scooters that you see everywhere in, uh, in the streets of Beijing and Shanghai, uh, the U.S. has to go electric, Europe has to go electric, and I think the Chinese today have the ability to be the the sort of the risk taker leaders and then the rest of the world will follow that. Do you have any concrete examples of what they're doing? What is China doing? China's put a $9,000 incentive on every electric car, uh, in particular focused on government vehicles and on taxis. Uh, they're creating a new city in between Beijing and Tianjin uh, for electric cars. So it's the, the new Detroit if you want. Um, they put the budgets for all the major, the 13 major cities to actually go electric, to put the right infrastructure in place. They've put regulations in some of the cities where if you have a gasoline car, you have to choose one day of the week, you're not allowed to bring that car in. And that will expand to two days and three days, and sooner or later they'll say you can't just can't drive it in. I mean, it's all the right policy driven from the top down, and they're creating a car industry bottom up. They're creating uh, uh, the motors, and they're creating the, the, the power electronics and the batteries. So they're, they're Which putting will create scale for you, and then absolutely. you'll when, have a supply chain. Once the, the Chinese world. can make a, a consumer electronic product, nobody can beat them on price. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.